screwed up as a parent throughout. <laughs> okay. What so we're, we're going to the Grand Canyon and doing all this stuff in like 10 days or whatever. My kid's mm-hmm. all jazzed about it. But uh, last night, <clears throat> she was like, Daddy, but, but what if I fall in? Right. And I was like, well, sweetie, um, you'll be at the bottom and the vultures will take care of you. And my wow. kid. <laughs> no, not so excited. <laughs> and so I was like, all right. Um, <laughs> I can just tell what by the reaction. What I would have said is, look, given your father. I think we can all agree that if you fall in, there will at least be a really nice video of it. <laughs> well, <laughs> the problem was, is I doubled down. I was like, sweetie, don't worry. The vultures will take care of you. You'll be dead. You won't feel them picking the meat off the bone. I didn't actually say that part. I didn't want to <laughs> scar her for life. She really needs enough therapy for my antics. But yeah, she just out of nowhere, she's like, what if I fall in? I'm like, right. Well, there's a cool thing there that I have not seen, uh, which is like a glass thing you can walk out on and it's you know, open mm-hmm. below you, which would scare the bejesus out of me. But, um, yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's a beautiful, yeah. it's a beautiful place. As I've often said, you can take photos of it all you want you will, but it doesn't capture the yep. sheer scope of the thing. It's, it's, uh, it's really impressive. Also, Paul Thrott, other things that are impressive mm-hmm. are, um, what's happening to search in <laughs> windows here. This one's Mm. So I've spent the past 24 hours mm. looking into Windows 11 search, and I have to, I just posted something on Twitter or tweeted something, um, which is, I'm on the newest dev build. It includes this Clip Champ app. Mm-hmm. So, of course, the first thing I do when I reboot is start Clip, and it doesn't come up and start search. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Mm. And I'm like, okay. So, yeah, they're turning... Uh, we're going to call this the the thing you're referring to, the widgetization of search is that what you want yeah to call it? something but let's be honest let's be honest you paul thread they're going to put things in that search you're not going to want to see like, yeah 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 so i i i i like the idea no i don't i'm being sarcastic i i i <laughs> microsoft is clearly positioning search as a destination of some kind now mm-hmm. and the the notion is it you're looking for something maybe you'll want to see a cute picture of a kitten yeah or Maybe, you know, I, I, you're searching. And I, I feel like uh, we're losing the script a little bit here on what, what the point of this feature is. But Yeah, this we know. Thing, and, and again, not to be the cynical old guy because I can't help myself, but um, I, let's face it, I have enough experience with this company. And I think anybody who has looked at Windows 7 will disagree with it, or Windows 11, rather, will disagree with this. Um, we're never going to get that consistent. Everything's on the new UI system that's never going to happen right just accept that there there are going to be new uis that have rounded corners and they're pretty and they look and every once in a while they'll pull something forward from the past and give it a little spit shine and it will look a little bit better but they're just forging forward with new stuff and and a lot of people are just sitting here go hey hold on hold on hold on what about this stuff you ruined or what about this stuff you never updated or what about this thing that has been the same ui since windows vista and you've never touched it and they're like look emojis you know, and I, you just got to accept it, right? Paul Thrott, are you telling me they're not going to update the interface for my people? <laughs> it's, no, it's far more likely in that particular case they're going to uh, – maybe they've already done this. What do they call it? Um, uh, when you de-emphasize the feature, you're not going to update it anymore. Um, deprecate. Deprecate, thank you. They'll deprecate it if they haven't already, and then one day magically it will disappear in Windows 11, you know, 20 – three h2 or something or whatever i don't know yeah i no, they're not going to is my people even still in i was more joking but my people no probably not my people but people is in there and you know that will eventually although when i (laughs) seriously i just search for people so maybe people's not in there but maybe it is i don't know but the top search it says people magazine really see that's what's gonna (laughs) drive me nuts about this is we we both know you're going to be able to buy ads there or sell ads or see ads or whatever. I, uh, geez, this is, uh, God, I, I keep saying the same things over and over again. I, I can't help myself. Mm. I have just spent almost two months immersed in the past of Longhorn and uh, database file systems and all that stuff. I watched in horror as Steve Jobs introduced instant search in Mac OS Tiger. Type a letter, boop, type another letter, boop, mm-hmm. or, you know, like, 
And uh, I just searched for people in Windows 11 and got a, a, a recommendation for People Magazine. I, I, this isn't even... I don't even... I, I don't... I, <laughs> what is... The, why? Why would... Why? Yeah. Um, okay. Things that people might be more <laughs> interested to see is our friend yeah. Raf discovered that there are yes. tabs coming to it. looks like just File Explorer based on what we've seen. So that's... I Yeah, and look, I know people are looking forward to this for some reason, and that's fine. I, is not, it, it, the people who want to work the way they work today will always be able to start mm -hmm. a new Explorer window. It doesn't matter, right? It's fine. But I, I, this does feel like one of those features that it kind of completes a bullet point. It will make people feel like this team is somehow answering the complaints and mm -hmm. doing the things that people want. And I don't, I don't actually feel like it's all that important, <laughs> you know. It's, Honestly, yeah, yeah. If you like it, you like it. Mm -hmm. If you don't, well, I don't know. If you don't. It's I fine. Guess. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't hurt you by being there. I mean, yeah. That's fine. Uh, if people don't like this video, by the way, you can blame mm. Clip Champ. I'm going to try to edit this podcast nice. using Champ of the Clips. Yep. It's a web uh, app. Oh. Um, <laughs> that well, I mean, diminishes things a little bit. Well, we'll see. We will see how it works compared to Adobe Premiere Elements 2022. Okay. I don't think it's going to be on that level. But I mean, if it, uh, the question I think a lot of people will have is how does it compare to like Win Windows Movie Maker or Windows mm. Live Movie Maker, what it was called mm. at its death. Uh, Microsoft had a good app for this. They did. And it's a little odd they don't have something in box. It seems odd they have to buy a company to get this functionality. Mm -hmm. I think the big shift that's happened since, you know, their mid 2000s or whatever Movie Maker appeared, actually, I guess it's an XP thing, is, you know, we're primarily publishing to online places. To, that didn't exist, you know, back then, Instagram, TikTok, you know, whatever. So it's probably optimized for that kind of thing. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Um, and we'll see. I, if, it, if it does the stuff that Movie Maker did, I, that would be interesting to me. Yep. So we'll learn together if the video is terrible. <laughs> it's not my fault. Uh, Let's just make sure there's sparkles and... <laughs> You know, things like maybe that. a flaming soccer ball going into a net with a T Rex on the field, wow. maybe. Oh, maybe. advanced AI. That would be so fun. Yeah, it would be. If only they could pull that off. Uh, if you get that reference, by the way, congratulations. You're down in the oh, bottom you of get the canyon it. with you, us. You, <laughs> right. And and let me be not the first to utter the word sets and see if that triggers any PTSD mm. in anybody. Um yeah. Yeah. We're all living in a shared nightmare. It is the Matrix. Yeah, I keep figuring out, trying to figure out how to reboot the the simulation. But um, <laughs> no. anyways, that was the big stuff. There's a new dashboard update coming out to uh, to whatever Xbox. to the Xbox, if I can remember what that gaming console was called. And yeah, it also allows you to remap the shared button too. If so, if your controller has that, you'll now be able to remap it to whatever. Yeah, actually, that's good. Yeah, it is. It's it, there's nothing major in it, but again, it's just sort of hey, they're doing it anyways, and that's great. And we don't have to worry about it. So, yeah, I lose track of this kind of thing um, because there's so much of it. But and this is kind of going back to the Explorer thing. But um, I just installed the latest dev build, mm -hmm. and one of the things I do is in Explorer is I the first stop like one of my first things is I change. You go into folder options and you mm -hmm. change from Quick Access to this PC. Yep, because I don't use Quick Access. Then there's a couple of privacy slash quick access options I uncheck, and that is how I use my computer. Mm -hmm. um, when you're on the dev channel, probably the better channel too, they, it resets things, so it goes back to that mm -hmm. view, and so I went in to change it, and I noticed there's a third option now called OneDrive Personal in my case, which mm -hmm. is just OneDrive. Mm -hmm. um, so you can actually default to OneDrive as your default Explorer view. So I don't know when that happened. It might have been this build, the last build, 10 builds. Yeah. I have no idea. But Makes sense. I mean, I... That's interesting, yeah. I personally use OneDrive quite a bit. I mean, that's... It's... Yeah, I don't... I do too, but I don't really want to stop at start at the root of it, <laughs> mm. you know? Um, but that's fine. I mean, it's like a... It, I think for some people, that's as logical a view of your stuff as yep. is, like, the, the computer view. I mean, in fact, it might make more sense. Yeah. I, I It's honestly, now that you mentioned it, I probably will, just because I... Much like yeah. you, I jump between machines quite a bit. 
Mm-hmm. And having it and always stuff is yeah, having exactly. it always default to that just means whatever machine I'm on should be there. Yep. Magical. Yeah, if you're just using a normal documents folder mm-hmm. like a reasonable human being, it's like one click away. It's uh, yeah, it's not bad. You're not bad. <laughs> I don't know about <laughs> good, but just. <laughs> oh man. <laughs>